Hey everyone, um, long time no see. I wanted to jump on here uh, to give you all a little update. I know it's been a minute since I've done a video. So um, this is just like a little update. Um, I did not, obviously, uh, get to have surgery before Thanksgiving. I went to see uh, my plastic surgeon and he wanted to wait to see if some of the swelling would go down and my nose would move down on its own. Um, and while it has moved a little, it has not gone down much and the swelling was still like pretty bad and it still swole, you know, feels swollen, but it was so tight too. And if you look under my eye, it's, it's still a little swollen, but what I did was I was trying to come up with things to do, you know, the jade roller, the jade rock, all these things. And then I finally decided to do cupping. And I bought this. Hold on a second. Um, on Amazon. And it comes with a set of cups. That's the largest, and we have you know second like and small. This one's for like around your eyes and your mouth and stuff, but you can still use it all over your face. Um, you know, you just want to be gen gentle. But what you you know you do is you put like an oil on your face, which what I put on my face is the Moderma oil. You know, because I have scars and things. Uh, but I put the Moderma oil on, and it, it works great. And you just you know do that you know and move it to your lymphatic or I do this and go toward my sinuses you know things like that and it has actually made it go down and this was super tight like because of you know they had to he had to remake this side of my nose and my cheek you know and while this scar is up here it's moved um, it was down here. He had taken, you know, right there, my upper lip, you know, had to take and then all the, uh, some stuff, uh, you know, and I have a scar <laughs> like that, but, um, but I've used this, you know, and really I use, and the big one is you can use it like on your legs and stuff for cellulite. So you just put like a, a really good slick kind of moisturizer on your legs, um, if you wanted to, you could put Vaseline on your legs and do it, and then just jump in the bathtub afterwards, you know, because you don't, Vaseline's pretty, uh, you know. But I use these three right here. Um, this is the biggest one I use, you know, and I'll do my, and I do it on this side too and everything and up here on that scar, but uh, these are the three that I use, and they work. Just to let you know, because, sorry, because, um, here it was so you know i have scarred this is all scar tissue and so it was i mean it hurt it literally hurt sorry i have an alarm on my phone uh i mean to touch and everything and i had had gotten and this is fantastic just to let you guys know if you're having any kind of pain or anything and it doesn't necessarily have to be a, with your face or you know on surgery if you just have like uh aches and pains, this, like, I was putting it on here when it was, I mean, I couldn't even do this, okay, touch it like this, it, it hurts so bad. This, while it did not, it claims to help with inflammation, and the active ingredient in it really does, it does help with inflammation, but this, uh, it didn't really help me with inflammation, but when I tell you it didn't numb, it stopped the pain. Like, completely stopped it within 30 seconds to a minute. Stopped the pain, and it lasted for a while. Um, so, I used this up until I got the cups and started doing it around. It broke up that scar tissue underneath, you know. Um, and I do it now every day, but when you start out, you should do it like one to three times a week, you know. But I do it every night before I go to bed. And I also got... Witch hazel it has aloe vera in it. Um, I think it does. 
Or it may not. I don't know. I thought it had aloe vera in it, but anyway, it's unscented. Um, yeah, it does. It has aloe vera. It says aloe vera formula, and it's unscented. That's what you want is unscented, especially if your skin's sensitive. But this does help with depuffing. It really tightens up your skin, actually. And one benefit of this is that it it tightens up your skin, you know. Um, so, we can only use that. But anyway, this right here, um, I use that, and I'll put it on, and I'll leave it on for a little while, and then I will take it off. And I've been using, actually, which I don't think this is for your face at all. It says body lotion, and my face is part of my body, so I'm going to go with that. But, um, the, oh, sorry. Dr. Um, Teal's body lotion, it has coconut oil and essential, uh, and essential oils. Coconut butter, shea butter, and vitamin E. And normally, I wouldn't put vitamin E on my face because they found that it doesn't Sometimes it can make the scars worse, but because my scars are already healed, you know, really, I mean, they're not completely healed, but, and I put, um, you know, I probably told you guys before, I put um, this invisible scars on, I mean, I switch back and forth between things that I do, that invisible scars, and then that, oh, here it is. It's Scar Away Silicone Scar Gel. And I use that too. And this, when you put it on, it's kind of kind of tight feeling, you know. And this, the other feels like um, it's, you know, it's slick. But, I mean, it dries. The, everything that I use kind of dries well, you know. But still maintains the moisture. But, anyway. Um, but, it, my nose has gotten better. I've done done some contouring on it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video that I've done it, but because I don't have a nasal seal right here, um, I'm hoping that when we do, I go back and see him in March, and I'm hoping that he will do the surgery then, which um, for some reason I'm a little hesitant and anxious about. I, I don't know why I am. I mean, before all the surgeries, all, you know, the um, four surgeries and everything, I mean, I wasn't, like, terrified or anything, really. I mean, I, you know, I just knew it was something I had to do, and, you know, and I did not know what I was in for, though, with recovery and how I looked and things like that. So, if there's something that I can tell y'all... Um, I don't think you can ever prepare for that, especially when they've removed half your face <laughs> and reconstructed it. But, you know, just be aware that it does take time. I'm very impatient, and I, you know, I would rather them tell me, you know, this is what it's going to look like, you know, and and as it goes, because, the, I mean, the swelling has actually gone down, Um this is just where he has, you know, how he did it. And uh, so, but right here I have no nasal uh, seal. You see how this is right here? I don't have one. But I've tried to contour it a little bit to kind of make it look like and contour my nose a little bit. And um, in real life it actually looks pretty good. So, I don't know. I mean, on here, but it could be, the I don't know. But uh, it actually looks pretty darn good. Um, and it looks good in pictures, too, but I don't know really how it looks here. Uh, but I would just let you know that it's prepare for the worst, and then you'll be happy when it's not the worst. I did not prepare. I don't think I could have prepared for the worst for what I went through. Even when he told me I was the worst case he had ever had in 25 years. I do not think... I couldn't imagine, and I had researched and saw, you know, everything, and, um, but, uh, I just couldn't, but my smile is getting better, it's not quite as, and see, and he got this in my, it's halfway in, he's gonna, in the next surgery, he's going to, you know, I think, trim this down and move my, my, just a little bit down. I'm going to ask him about that seal so it'll look normal.
normal, and then he's going to fix this and try to get it in this, like from this. This is where you see here, that's where it's supposed to be, and he got it here, so that's why when I do it, I mean, I have dimples, but not like this. So I look like that chick off of, uh, oh my God, what's her name? She's dark headed and she literally, it's, she didn't have, it's not a scar. It's like a genetic thing with her, but it looks just like this. It was like the, uh, oh my God, why can't I not remember? Anyway, it's where the guy, he was good at reading people, but they thought he was psychic or whatever. I, I can't remember. But anyway, she's in it, and she's got dark hair, and she's like the police, the head police officer, and she, it looks like this. If you look up the pe look up, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so hopefully in March, um, he will do the surgery, but I am apprehensive about it. I, I don't know. Um, and, you know, I get tired of people saying, oh, you can always have laser, laser, lasers done. I mean, I'm not one that I'm going to subject myself to too much pain for beauty. I mean, I believe you should age gracefully. That's my belief. Now, some people don't. Some people go have surgeries, do all these crap to their face, you know, like uh, chemical pills. The word chemical, that should tell you it's not super good for you. I don't give a crap what any dermatologist that does that says, those things are not good for you. If it's a chemical in it, but it's everybody's choice to do whatever you want to. Um, I mean, I can tell you that if I had to have a brush remove, I would probably get a, you know, a fake boob. But to me, that's different. That's more of a necessity, you know, after you've been disfigured than just going in and having shit that hurts done to you. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do it. Like I told my husband, I'm like, would it be so bad if he didn't fix this, you know? And he's, and my husband's like, well, I mean, I was like, that doesn't, I mean, sure, I'd wish it wasn't there, but that doesn't bother me like this does. Like, this really doesn't bother me. Um, I mean, it is indented, uh, and uh, he said that my, and see my head, he said that my skin was still too tight you know, he said that my skin was tight, probably the only place it is, up here. So when he had to go in and remove uh, that skin and stuff, it, you know, it's even more tight. Uh, so I don't know, because he made a thing about that, that, you know, I don't know if I can do that. And he was like, this is going to be real difficult to get this in here. And I thought, okay, shut your pie hole and just do it. Just do what you can do, you know, and don't, I mean, don't nay-nay everything. But, uh, I mean, I have faith in him. He's a very, very good plastic surgeon. He really is. But he is not a very good, like, doctor who, who you know, knows how to deal with things that happen due to the surgery, due to the, um, you know, the cancer doctor removing the cancer and then him going in and doing stuff, it has caused my nose to run. Like when I say 24 seven, I had to go to another ornithologist, just like Dr. Cox, but this guy actually practices and does surgery. Like, you know, like that. Dr. Cox strictly does surgery. He does not, like, see people and diagnose them with things. So he is, like, not in the loop or something with, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll send him an email and say, hey, you know, it's still swollen. What do I do? I don't know what to tell you. And I'll say, well, can I use such and such? <gasps> uh, sure. You let me know if you think that if, if you think that's helped you. Dude, you should be able to tell me something. I mean, after 25 years of doing these kind of surgeries, I cannot be the only one who's had complications from it. You know what I mean? And if you're just like blowing them off, that's for crap. Now, that part I don't like about it uh, at all. Uh, but I did finally put my foot down this last time, and I said, can you please at least tell me somebody to go to? I'm like, instead of telling me you can't do anything for me, I need a specialist because my nose is constantly running. And it's still kind of 
is, you'll hear me, and I can't help it, but that's because my nose is collapsing. Look, see it going in? It's collapsing. Yay! It's oh, looking good. And he's like, I did send him a message about that, and he's like, oh, yeah, we can totally fix that for you. Sure. No, he said, sure, we can totally fix that for you. And I, and I said, well, will it, be, will it be fixed along with the neck surgery? Likely. I hate them. Just a damn man. That's a damn doctor. One word answers. And if I did it, he would know I was pissed if I did that. Um, he knows anyway. Um, but I like you. I mean, I'm very truthful with him. Like what I'm telling you is what I tell him. You know, I'm like, don't, don't just say, oh, I can't help you. You know people who can. You know, I mean, whether you can help me or not, you do know people who can. So, chop, chop, when he sent me to another doctor, and he looked, and my turbinates are swollen, and he was thinking, he was going, he said, I'll take you into surgery right now. I mean, right then, he was going to do that, and I was like, well, I don't know, he goes, I mean, I hate to do surgery, and you not need it, you know, um, and, um, and I was asking questions about empty nose syndrome, and I was like, you're not going to do jack to me if that's what's going to happen, and he was like, you're very well informed, I'm like, I absolutely am. I'm like, because you're human and y'all make mistakes. And I'd like to know how many mistakes you've made in your career, you know. And I don't want to be one of those mistakes because it's like Murphy's Law. If it can happen, it will to me. Um, I'm not, that's not being pessimistic. That's being realistic. And it's a pattern. So, you know what I mean? And, but he, um. He told me to, like, put a cotton up my nose right here. He told me to, well, I can't do that anymore because my nose is collapsing and my turbinates are swollen. So that causes, like that, you know, I cannot get air in. And, and whether or not you're getting a little air in or not, you still feel like you're suffocating. You know what I mean? Um, so, anyway, wherever you go, there you are. So, but... Um, you know, I hope you guys had a had a great Christmas and an even better New Year. And I hope 2022 it will not suck eggs like the latter half of 2019, all of 2020, and all of 2021. And I hope we all wake up, stand together, and do what's right for all of us in this country. That's all I'm going to say. You take that as any way you want to. But um, I just want to come on here and give you all a little update. And, and that's pretty much it. I will probably, since I'm feeling better, uh, I might do some more true crime videos. I uh, know I haven't been consistent with it, but I haven't felt very well at all. I actually had strep throat, which, you know, it, everybody's amazed I have not caught COVID, but I haven't. And, um... Uh, so I'm like, I don't know. My doctor even said, he goes, you may be immune. I go, yeah, but a cold will kill me. I'm like, a cold will jack my sugars up where I have to go to the hospital. And he goes, I don't know what to tell you. He goes, but you may be immune because every time I go in there, he tests me and I am negative for the flu. I've never had the flu and I'm negative for COVID. Um, and it'll be something else, you know. He'll be like, oh, gosh, you got a real bad sinus infection. And this time he was like, you have strep throat. I'm like, what? <laughs> what the hell? And I didn't know that until she went in there and stuck that freaking Q-tip down my throat. I mean, I literally went, eh. I mean, like, it was like she hit my, you know, little thingy in there. Um, but when she did that, that's when my throat started hurting. I was like, crap. But... And I hate to take antibiotics. I worry about my kidneys and my blood sugars have been horrible, awful. And I go see my endocrinologist next week. So I may come back on and let y'all know what he says. I mean, he's such an asshole. But anyway, um, I digress, but he is an asshole. Um, but I will see you guys later. Remember, be good to each other. Try to laugh. Have a sense of humor. I mean... You remember, nobody makes it out alive in this world. And as always, be the reason someone drinks today. I'll talk to you guys later. B.I.